Hello, I'm Jennifer Crean. Today we're going to go over the pluripotent stem cell culture portfolio here at Thermo Fisher Scientific. When you mention stem cells, there are several possible, possible directions you can take. Embryonic stem cells, or ESCs, are derived from a five-day-old blastocyst and can differentiate into almost any cell type in the body. Induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, are generated from somatic cells, usually fibroblasts or blood cells, through reprogramming and can also differentiate into almost any cell type in the body. Both ESCs and iPSCs are called pluripotent stem cells, or PSCs. Adult stem cells are considered multipotent and can give rise to only related cell types. In this talk, we're going to cover some of the options for culturing pluripotent stem cells. Pluripotent stem cell culture. There are many options for customers to choose from to culture their pluripotent stem cells. From the most common method, mouse feeder-based culture with knockout serum replacement, or KSR, supplemented media to the fully defined xenofree system with essential 8 and vitronectin as the matrix. This table represents the current media systems we offer for the culture of pluripotent stem cells. KSR is used like FBS to supplement basal media, usually at a 15 to 20 percent supplementation rate. It's recommended that customers test several lots of KSR with their controlled PSC lines, as there is lot-to-lot -lot variability. StemPro HESC SFM is designed for feeder-free culture for PSCs on a Geltrex matrix. StemPro is a three-part kit that contains BSA, a growth factor supplement, and DMMF12 with Glutamax basal media. Essential 8 is our fully defined, xeno-free, feeder-free PSC culture system and has protocols that support its use with both vitronectin and Geltrex matrices. Since PSCs are adherent and require a matrix for their culture, options for matrices include mouse embryonic feeder cells, or MEFs, typically used with KSR-based media, Geltrex, which has protocols to support use with both StemPro, HESC, SFM, and Essential 8, and vitronectin, which is a recombinant human protein that provides a defined surface for a feeder-free culture of human PSCs. Knockout serum replacement, or KSR, is a key part of the feeder-based stem cell culture system and can be used in either mouse or human PSC culture. KSR was launched in 1997 to support mouse ESC culture and then was adopted into the human ESC workflow. Then in 2006, with the development of iPSC, KSR was used in many of the first papers describing that work and continues to be used for all of the work described here. Typically, as we've said before, KSR is used at a 15 to 20 percent supplementation rate in a DMEM F12 basal media system and there are literally thousands of papers that reference KSR for use in PSC culture. Knockout serum replacement is a FBS-free formulated supplement that is used for routine maintenance and derivation of ESCs and iPSCs. It also supports cryopreservation, embryoid body formation, and in vitro differentiation studies. Feeder cells are either human or murine fibroblasts, which are inactivated, usually by chemical or irradiation treatment, that support the growth and pluripotency of ESCs and iPSCs. Because the MEFs are inactivated, they're not dividing, this is not considered a cold culture. Here you can see an example of mouse embryonic feeder cells in culture. The Gibco mouse ICR inactivated embryonic fibroblasts are packaged in a vial of greater than 2 million viable cells per mil. Each lot is tested for the ability to support both mouse and human pluripotent stem cell cultures.
Along with all of our protocols to support human PSC culture, we also have several to support mouse cultures. Knockout serum replacement and the low Osmo, knockout DMEM, and knockout DMEM F12 were all developed to support mouse pluripotent stem cell cultures. Shown here is an example of a human pluripotent stem cell culture on MEFs. The colonies are shown here surrounded by the MEFs in culture in a culture medium of KSR with 4 nanograms per mil of FGF. Passaging of your PSC culture should occur when your MEF feeder layer is getting to around 10 days old. Um, PSC colonies are becoming too dense or large, or you start to see increased differentiation. The STEM Pro Easy Passage Tool is designed to provide a sterile, disposable, simple tool for uniform passaging of pluripotent stem cells. The process is extremely simple. You just roll the Easy Passage across your colony and again at a 90 degree angle from the first pass. You can see the nice, clean squares that can be passaged in the corresponding images on the side. This can be used regardless of what media system you are working in. Feeder-free culturing of pluripotent stem cells allows for removal of mess from your culture system, which can introduce a certain level of variability to your work. It also saves time since you do not have to maintain MEF cultures to support feeder-free work. STEMPRO, HESC SFM, is a feeder-free medium that was launched in 2007 and comes in a three-part kit with DMEM F12 plus Glutamax basal media, BSA, and the STEMPRO HESC SFM supplement. Given that there is BSA in this product, there will be a certain level of variability seen from line to line. STEMPRO HESC SFM has been shown to maintain pluripotency for over 50 passages with no karyotypic abnormalities. We offer multiple protocols to support culture and reprogramming with STEMPRO HESC SFM. Essential 8 medium is a xeno-free and feeder-free medium formulated for the growth and expansion of human pluripotent stem cells. It was developed in the lab of Jamie Thompson and contains only the eight essential components needed for stem cell culture which reduces the variability of the system compared to other far more complex media with animal components. It's manufactured under Gibco CGMP quality standards and is far more economical and scalable for your PSC culture needs than other products. Essential 8 was developed by the same lab as our key competitive stem cell media, MTZER. Essential 8 was, to de was developed to address some of the shortcomings the Thompson lab saw with M-Teaser. As you can see, they remove many components, especially the BSA, which can drive much of the variability in the system. This simplified formula also results in fewer component-component interactions, which adds another level of variability to M-Teaser. M-Teaser also recommends the use of a less defined substrate. Matrigel versus the recombinant human truncated vitronectin recommended for use with Essential 8. Essential 8 has been shown to display classic stem cell morphology and long-term pluripotency and normal karyotype on hundreds of PSC lines, out to greater than 30 passages. Newly derived IPSC lines may contain a fair amount of differentiation through passage 4. It is not necessary to remove differentiated material prior to passaging. By propagating and splitting the cells, the overall culture health should improve throughout the early passages. Enzymes such as collagenase and dysbase do not work well with cells cultured in essential 8 medium and on vitronectin and can result in compromised viability and attachment. We recommend that PSCs cultured with essential 8 be passaged with EDTA. Essential 8 cultures have been validated with both Geltrex and Vitronectin matrices and maintains pluripotency and normal karyotype with both systems.
Recombinant human truncated vitronectin was validated with Essential 8 medium and licensed from CDI with Essential 8. It was also developed and optimized by the Thompson Lab. Its performance was shown to be superior to that of the full-length vitronectin. Geltrex has also been qualified for use as a matrix with Essential 8. The Geltrex HESC qualified ready to use reduced growth factor basement membrane matrix has been tested to support HESC growth and pluripotency, thus eliminating the need for you to test multiple lots before purchase. The Essential 6 medium formulation is based upon the Essential 8 formulation, but without the FGF or TGF beta. It was developed to enable you to have more flexibility as you design your studies for culture differentiation or reprogramming. Cryopreservation and recovery of pluripotent stem cells has been challenging and fraught with low recovery expectations. The PSC cryopreservation kit, a prototype, is a two-part kit that was developed to support banking of pluripotent stem cells and to provide improved cell recovery and quicker time to confluence. The system minimizes loss of cell viability, maximizes post-thaw viability, and minimizes unwanted differentiation of PSCs. The two-part kit contains the PSC cryopreservation medium, which is ready to use, and the growth supplement at 100x. The growth supplement can also be purchased as a standalone product. The Gibco PSC Cryopreservation Kit provides superior post thaw recovery of PSCs compared to competitor products, as shown here in this slide. The use of the growth supplement alone provided improved post-thaw recovery for feeder-dependent PSC cultures. This provides the flexibility and improved performance if you do not wish to change your current cryopreservation system. The growth supplement can also be used to support single cell passaging of pluripotent stem cells with essential 8. In this slide, it used Accutase for passaging. However, you can also use Triple Select. The addition of growth supplement gives far superior cell survival versus just the essential 8 medium alone. Cells show normal morphology and pluripotency when using the growth supplement at passage with triple select to achieve single cell passaging. Here you see staining at passage 10. Along with the normal morphology and pluripotency, you also see at passage 10, normal karyotype is retained when using growth supplement with essential 8 to maintain a single cell culture. There are many things to consider when selecting the proper pluripotent stem cell medium and many choices for the medium matrix and steps that occur throughout the workflow. Hopefully this summary provided some insight to some of the best products available to support your stem cell work.